One of the best things about Corel Dry is the freedom. Freedom to let your imagination run wild. Corel Draw has artistic media which will help you create good looking images very quickly and easily. This is an attribute not a lot of graphical softwares have, or at least not to this extent. In this tutorial we will see how to use artistic media and how to apply it on many different shapes, objects and text. Once again I have created a blank document. Now before I actually start working in this black document and using artistic media, I would like some dockers to be displayed on my page. Now you can see that my dockers are actually tucked in here, so I would like the object properties, object manager and the artistic media. Now we're going to be using artistic media so it's very important that it's there. Now you can enable those dockers by going to window, dockers and then selecting the appropriate docker. So once we have done that, I'll go ahead and write some text on our working area. So if you move to the left to your tools menu, you'll find text tool. You can click on it or you can simply press F8. Once you've clicked on it, you can actually click anywhere within your working area and you can start typing some type text. So let's go ahead and write hello, hello world. Now I would like to change the size of my text, so I'll make it a bit bigger, I'll make it 72, I'll center it. And there's one more step that we have to do before we actually go into using and applying artistic media effects to our text. Since this is a simple text, artistic media cannot be applied to it. So what we have to do is we have to change these two curves. Now to do so, you will have to click your right, right mouse button anywhere on the text and choose convert to curves so once again click your right hand right mouse button anywhere on the text and go to convert to curves okay now our text has been converted to curves of course we can still change the color of our text the outline but for now I'll keep it as as it was so now that we have changed our simple text into curves we can go ahead and apply some artistic me media effects to it. So I click on the artistic media and docker and here you will find many different vector shapes, brushes, sprayers and so on. Also if you have a look in your tools bar, uh, properties bar you can choose brushes, sprayer and so on. So I'll go back to my pick tool and I will select the I will select the text and now we are ready to apply some of these strokes and brushes so if you have a look uh, so if you have a look at the artistic media docker you will see that it's got a top and the bottom bit the top bit is the last artistic media shape that you have been used and down the bottom you'll find all the available strokes sprayers and brushes so let's go ahead and apply a simple one let's go and click here straight away you can see that our hello world has changed now you can see that it's thicker and that it follows this curve here also if you have a look at the properties bar again you can change the width so let's put it something big so we can see the change let's put it to 10 now you can see that our hello world has changed again let's go down to one once again we're working with millimeters you can change that and our hello world has changed again so let's apply some other effects so let's go down the list let's apply the dot effect once again you can see that hello world has changed if we go further down the list and maybe select let's select this brush here hello world has changed again and basically you can choose any of these to change the shape of your text to your imagination and with this kind of stuff you can really create some really cool looking text so let's select for example let's select this one 
and let's change the thickness of it. Change it to five. And now you can see that we have that glossy look, but still we can change the color of our text. Now it's blue. We can also change it to green, yellow, and so on. Also, you can make some custom strokes, which will help you later when you're doing some drawings and for some particular text as well. So basically, we have seen how to create a simple text. We have seen how to change simple text to curves in order to apply artistic media strokes to it, which basically changed the whole shape of our letters and our word by changing the outlines and also changing the shape of each letter. Okay, so we've seen how to apply artistic media to text to change the outline of the text. But artistic media can be applied on many objects. So let's go ahead and create a simple square. Center it. Go to artistic media docker and then simply click on any of the shapes that you like. Shape of the strokes, of course. So you can change it to look, some, to look something like this. Or basically, let's try just something like this. Also, we can still change the color of our outline. So we'll make it, we'll make it red and we'll make it like this. Now, the important thing is to remember that once you have created or you have applied the artistic media, your object has been transformed. Now, there are two important things. If you would like to change the color of your outline, you can use the palette here and click on the left mouse button. If you want to change the outline of the outline itself of the original object, you can do that by clicking the right mouse button. So this is basically an easy and quick way you can change the outline of your object and start working with the outline itself. So you can change the color, also you can still change the, the thickness of the line. And if you don't want to use the dockers here, you can always go here and choose your choose your stroke so we have seen how to use the artistic media to modify the outline of our objects and our text but most of the times artistic media lines and brushes will be used to create some cool looking images and artwork so basically to do this if you go to the left hand side and go to the artistic media tool then you select a certain shape that you would like your line to be. So, for example, let's go let's go here and choose the the trees one. When you start drawing, your line will look like this. Have but once you let go of your left mouse button, this line will automatically change to the shape you have chosen. As you can see, my line has now become a bunch of trees. Now you can draw another line and so on. So you can basically create many different lines and images using the artistic tool media so once again you can use a line and that will just create a simple simple line once again you can change the color of that line and the outline So in this tutorial we have basically seen the basic uses of the artistic media tool which can be applied to many different objects.